coming in. It is a public holiday today as well, so uh, we're expecting more and more people to come through and show their support uh, for the local team. With a very comfortable play out from the back. Not just wanting to boot it forward. And lovely interchange of passes down this right-hand side. Borshami, the captain, leads a good ball across. Oh, it's a great ball. What's a challenge there? It's going to go out for a goal kick in the air, but a lovely ball. Great passenger play from Bangladesh. Got a score. I'm sorry when you get into that position. Krishna did ever so well. Good vision there as well from Shopna. She looked just a little tentative ball as that ball came towards her. You've got to go and attack the ball, yeah. and she didn't do that, and that just gave Fatima the opportunity to come and put that challenge in on her. It just put her off enough. I think, yeah, we've got to give that credit to Fatima there. I think she probably put her off just a little bit. You know, you mentioned about the goalkeeper not kicking the ball out. When your defender doesn't kick it out, it only goes 30 yards, 40 yards. Again, it just invites pressure onto you. And that's what Bangladesh are doing. They're squeezing high up the field of play. They're making sure that UAE are making the mistakes. And they're working the flanks incredibly well. Budia Tahiri is, has got a lot of work to do here. Her team was struggling, taking the kick. This time, Najla. And she really has struggled to get it any distance, and it keeps coming back to the ball. You might as well play out from the back then. Yeah. But, I mean, you, how can you say that the UAE should be ranked above Bangladesh with the first 15 minutes that we've seen exactly. so far? Yeah, it looks totally the other way around, doesn't it, at the moment? They're playing some very good stuff here, Bangladesh, and she's under pressure here. Oh, yeah. Taking it short. That's, that's a clever way, but there's no one marking there. Where's the marking? <laughs> Salomar had to come back and track very quickly the back. Well, it just, it just occurs to me right now, UAE are not on top of their game at the moment. This is a little bit asleep, a little bit tentative. But that's where Bangladesh have to make this pressure count. They have to get a second goal, because yeah. as it's 1-0, they're always in the game, UAE. That goes into the side netting. be just a little respite from the pressure that they've been facing here UAE and I think you mentioned it goes short right with the goal kicks what played out from the back you've got no choice they're, they're trying to change no, they're changing kickers Any, anywhere near the six yard box will do yeah but what is, that's the third occasion no 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 She's, at the beginning of the match no one wanted to take kickoff yeah after one minute nobody wanted to roll the ball back there now nobody wants to go and get the ball and put it in the six yard box this is mentality well they are losing out on all fronts here at the moment uae and that's a credit to how bangladesh are playing Shamsunaha. Krishna, who had a chance earlier to score. Should have scored, yeah. This is the difference, it's a, a willingness to play back and a build from there for Bangladesh. And it's, it's just very good to watch at the moment. You can see what uh, Monica was looking to do there. She'll win that ball back easily. I think it's just the final pass that's letting Bangladesh down, because they, like you say, they're passing it around, they're keeping it, they're looking comfortable, but they just need to execute that final pass at a higher percentage. Opening up play here, that's the right thing to do. Now for Mushmi. Again, they were just looking to try and release Sopna. She's through now. The keeper has stayed on the line. Sopna can send a second. And what a chance there. That's got to be 2-0. And will they come to regret opportunities like this, Paul? Caught in two minds, wasn't she? She didn't know whether to put a foot right through the ball or just lift it over the keeper. And in the end, did neither. Well, they come right back at them here at Bangladesh. Shamsunaha. She's got free now on the space on this left-hand side, and it just can't stay in for her. But there are real problems at the back for the UAE, 
and trot on there the Bangladesh coach I think he's just frustrated because he knows his side should be at least two up they should be but like we said if they don't get that second goal UAE are always in the game so they do have to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal change the kicker once again it's back to Najla a slightly better kick but it's not getting past this green wall of Bangladesh and they're inviting pressure now they've conceded a, a free kick which they've taken very quickly but a little too quick for the referee's liking well it's because everybody's just tucking in and Maria and Monica are absolutely dominating everything in midfield just can't get past those two at the moment to Shamsunaha. There's more Shubi. Just one Shuli will go back. What, what's the way they pass though, Shazad? There's a real purpose with a pass. It's not it's not a soft pass, it's bang, there you go, you deal with it. Bang, the way they're moving the ball is good. And again, that comes from work on the training ground. That's a delightful ball. Samsunaha racing through. She's got no support. She's cutting inside. She's gonna go for herself. And once again. On this left-hand side, Samsunaha has had plenty of freedom. Took the wrong option there, though, didn't she? She got the pace to get in behind, does ever so well. Fatima's not catching her, and look, whoops, there you go. Checks back in. Two, three green shirts in attendance, not more so than Shopna, who arrived late. If she just rolls it there, it's a simple tap-in. Oh, you could just see what Fatima... After a lung bursting wrong, I think, then just got trodden on, but she's okay. But they are struggling. There is no, no doubt about it here, the UAE. I think her lungs are bursting by the by the, the reaction there. She was trying to get more breath into her. So it is, as you mentioned, very warm out there. But it was a lot warmer yesterday, so a nice little breeze just around the stadium at the moment. Once again, Bangladesh regain possession right off the goal kick. So, Shanaha, oh, that's pulled up a free kick to UAE. Oh, the arm was out from Shopna, but it's not a swing of the arm. There's no Malik. If anything, just caught her on the shoulder blade, just across the chest. That's not a foul for me. sort of dead ball situations they have struggled there is uh, not too much urgency being shown at the moment by UAE I think they just want to try and slow it down and Feel that momentum. Oh, that's a nice throw into a little bit of space here. Shard, ball across. That was the first time I could remember that they'd even got behind that defence. Shuli. And Fatima. Stopped in the tracks by Ada Jamal. Yeah, the ball wasn't wide enough. It was always going to favour the defender. So that was going to make it difficult. Just needed a little bit more quality playing that one forwards. 